hi everyone today i would like to share some information about uh, how to do the cleaning of uh, shell and tube type coolers in this video i will try to give maximum information about how we do the cleaning on board safely and efficiently in a correct way what are all the checks that we need to do while doing the cleaning operation please keep watching the video let's go inside the video okay this is your provision plant refrigeration unit and uh, today we are going to clean the refrigeration plant condenser so you can see that we need to remove the connections for both inlet and outlet of your condenser since we are in yard we had used a sea water cooling for the condenser usually our cooling medium will be lt water which is fresh water but since we are at yard we use the sea water so to put back the system to lt cooler we just want to clean the cooler so that it will be free from sea water now we are opening the inlet side valve of the condenser you can see this is your condenser cover and you can see a thermometer and you can see the cutout switch this is not uh, related to your condenser so this is related to your uh, refrigeration compressor which do the cut in and cut out operation and this shows your cooling water pressure and we had opened the other side of the compressor sorry condenser it's a shell and tube type cooler you can see because of the sea water the dark dark color reddish color that is because of the sea water cooling so now we will do the cleaning with fresh water and you can see the tubes tubes and this is your stack and this is your intermediate this uh, this part will isolate from inlet and outlet and uh, you got around uh, 16 tubes all tubes are copper tubes and you can find this is the cover for it and this this is the intermediate which separates the inlet and outlet water and here you can see you can see the safety valve and this is your refrigerant uh, side glass and uh, you can see the earthing arrangement and what else this is your compressor and this is your gauges for your uh, refrigerant compressor now, since I will want to show you how to clean the cooler I will give you a separate video for uh, explaining the provision of refrigeration unit so you can see the cooler it's very not very dirty no barnacles nothing usually there will be a barnacles if uh, the sea water is acting as a cooling medium since we used very less days we have only little amount of uh, traces like uh, 
Now we had opened the cooler. We'll try to remove it. All the connection we remove. And uh, we'll try to remove the cover outlet. We remove the pipe and now you can see the other side of the cooler. Gaskets are broken. Anyway, we need to renew the gasket. Okay, now we'll do the cleaning of our cooler. This is how we do the cleaning for. Uh, your cooler you can see it's a cleaning brush kept here and this is your brush and you have to choose according to the cooler tube size so now you can do the cleaning just you rinse out the cooler tubes See the other side. You can see the other side. Yeah. This is how we do the cleaning of uh, shell and tube type coolers. Usually the brushes will be copper brushed so that they don't uh, damage your uh, cooling tubes. So this. Uh, Cooler has very less number of cooling tubes. But some coolers will be having a lot, lot of uh, tubes because it handles a big volume of water. Since uh, this cooler handles very little volume, the cooler tubes is very less. But uh, eventually, the size of the cooler tube is big. So, of course, it handles a lot amount of water. Okay. Once we are done with our uh, normal cleaning, then we use the water. So water you can see. You can see each and every tube, we put the water. Oh, sorry. Ah. The water. And you can see here clean water coming out. That means uh, your tube is clean, free of rust, free of dirt. So this is how we do the cleaning of uh, cooler. So whenever you do the cleaning, please follow these methods. And before starting any cooling uh, cooler cleaning operation, isolate the lines. Ensure there is no pressure inside the cooler. No water flow. Valves are holding everything. Once the drain is absolutely free from water then you can do the opening of side covers and you can start uh, cleaning this is how the coolers are cleaned it's a very easy method actually nothing much complicated only thing all you have to keep it in mind is before opening you have to ensure you Isolate the well and uh, while cleaning, you have to ensure you are using the right size of brush. If you use odd size, then the brush may get stuck in between of the tubes, so that again you will get problem in removing the brush. We had now cleaned the cooler completely, and the cooler gasket area is completely cleaned, and you can see all the connections flanges are buffed and clean there is no old gaskets and there is 
no wear dirty it is all completely clean and ready for uh, boxing up and you can see the other flange pipe flanges this is also very perfectly cleaned and ready to fit up and you can see the end cover the end cover is also cleaned now we will box it up all you need to ensure is you have to keep this portion and this portion in a correct way you cannot put upside down if you put upside down it will change the flow inlet will go to outlet and outlet will go to inlet so be careful when you are putting back the cooler end flange okay before fixing any gaskets you have to put some silicon here we are applying silicon over the gaskets it's a red silicon okay you apply it on top of the gaskets this applying silicon will ensure the silicon will be in place and the gasket will get stick with the silicon so it don't go away from the place and it stick with the casing cover while we are putting back the cover it don't uh, miss a line from the place okay Applied the silicon as I said earlier. The position of the gasket is very important, therefore, it should not change the other way. <coughs> okay, now the gasket is in place. Mismatch the gasket, the flow will go the opposite way. And we'll put the same silicone on casing cover. Yeah, so it is done. Now the cover is ready to fit up. Now the casing cover is in place and Okay, the cover is now fitted back in place. And final tightening is going on. And that's all we clean the cooler in a good way. This is how you need to clean the cooler and box it back. Main thing when you need to keep it in mind when you are doing the cooler cleaning is you have to very much sure about the flow because if you put the gasket in a wrong way then it will again lead to a big problem like it will change the flow of water we are done with all our connections and fittings now we need to do the air purge out before uh, putting the LT cooler water inside the condenser so all we need to do is open the inlet valve and keep the discharge valve closed and we will open the purging line for the condenser okay
इनलेट 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 हाँ वन इनलेट व्यू ओपन लिटिल कोचिंग लाइन कोचिंग लाइन ओपन ओके ओपन द लाइन एंड वी कैन सी द वाटर कमिंग आउट दैट मींस योर सिस्टम इज फुल ऑफ वाटर एंड फ्री ऑफ एयर ओके नाउ आई क्लोज दिस कैन ओपन द discharge all discharge open and uh, you can see the pressure coming up so there is no leak and uh, no leak in any of the connections okay the other side also no leakage nothing okay our job is done Thanks for watching